Election officials say things are actually looking pretty good so far. Those at this precinct say they're actually seeing numbers that they would normally see for a presidential election with over 430 voters on the first day. A walk in the park for voters in Bernalillo County. It was great. They were very, very professional, very good. Running very smoothly, no waiting. So it was a very good experience. Dozens of them stopped by the clerk's annex today for a chance to early vote. And some issues were top of mind from national topics. One of them would be the abortion and uh, to vote for the best governor that will uh, work for, for the people of New Mexico. To some local ones. The crime, the homeless, uh, some of the bonds with the school, the school bonds. So those are some of the big issues that's important to me. The polling locations seeing almost 200 voters in the first few hours of opening. Numbers officials are more than happy with. People are clearly excited. People are interested in the issues. They are checking out. People are interested in the issues and they are they're showing that by coming out in droves. With an expected increase in turnout, preparations have been key this election, as well as new opportunities for voters like same day registration. During early voting all the way up until and through Election Day, you will be able to register to vote and vote at the same time at any of your polling locations. But the biggest takeaway you'll want to know before you go, previewing your sample ballot beforehand. That way you'll know what you're voting on. There are constitutional amendments on the ballot. There are bond questions. And so you want to make sure that you're familiar with all of those before you head into the voting location. Now, if you plan on early voting, you can only go to the clerk's annex, which is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 until October 21st. Reporting live in Northwest Albuquerque, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.